Gartner recognized us for a Supply Chain Innovation Award, and it was related to a central inventory management program that we worked with Cardinal to test and pilot. We're now in full-blown implementation and have it across many more service areas than this data was on. But it, it's been presented at some Gardner conferences. So these are a couple of the slides. We worked with Cook, one of our medical device suppliers. Uh, this is just a general statement of how much waste is estimated to be in the U.S. healthcare system, $5 billion worth, based on excess back office labor, inventory turn issues, loss and expiry, revenue leakage because of that, for, that's for the provider, um, low inventory turn consignment costs for the manufacturer, and the low value sales tax tasks that occur for them. Put in, went from manual inventory management to RFID automated management for all of our high value products. We decentralized, so not every hospital will have everything of everything at high par levels across the network. It'll be in a, it is in a centralized inventory and has less than one day delivery to the locations as they see they need it. We built and capitalized on a strategic supplier relationship, so we have some operational excellence, we got some external collaboration, we have some internal collaboration going on all within this project. We actually began, the supplier was allowed to use our data and had access to our data so they could do better demand forecasting and planning. We integrated the systems so that we could actually see all of this mutually together across the entirety of our network. And it became patient-centered about ensuring that all the products that were necessary for patient procedures were available. It created a much more simplified end-to-end -end supply chain, as you can see mapped here. Cook going to the inside distribution hub that we manage within Cardinal's Earth City or facility, and then getting it to all of our, in this case, it was a cath lab pilot that was illustrated on the slide. This drove a considerable amount of waste out and resulted in, as you can see, just in this small pilot, 23% average PAR reduction, 17% SKU reduction, which we recognize some redundancies in our SKU requirements, $30,000 in reduced losses due to expiry, tremendous consignment savings for the supplier, and during that whole period, we didn't have anything expire and we didn't have anything have to be expedited or overnighted, which was in the past, tended to happen quite often. We just didn't, I don't think that the data to compare because it was happening in so many individual hospitals, so they just said, we went to zero and we know it wasn't zero before. And this eliminated a whole bunch of supply chain activity that the supplier rep had to do, so now he could be more efficient and achieve the higher level goals of his job. So all of that, great work of the team over the last four years, as I said, most of which I cannot take credit for, <laughs> resulted in Gartner recognizing the team last year as one of the top 20 healthcare supply chains. We know we still have a long way to go, and we're so proud of some of the partners in the room that are higher than we are on, on that list. And we want to make sure that we're talking about what we need to do. The fact that Gartner has to do a separate top 25 for the healthcare industry says there's something wrong with healthcare supply chain because None of us ever show up in the top 25 of their much bigger <laughs> norm, uh, full national top 25 that they, they run typically where you see, who do you see on the top of that? Um, Procter & Gamble somewhere on there. Amazon. Amazon for sure. So we have a way to go. And for right now, we'll be happy with our, our top 25 in the healthcare industry.